Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist, author of many books on how to draw, like, oh, for instance, Cartoon Faces, which is a lot of fun, a beginner's book. And today I'd like to show you how to draw my dog, Spencer, who is just a handful, but he's so smart. So I'll give you some simple tips and maybe you can draw along. First, let's just take a look at the main shapes rather than just start at the tip of the nose. Here is the top of the skull. We're gonna make that kind of round. And we're gonna give him a round back as he's sitting. So the back really goes out like this. All right, now I'll make this darker when, when we finish. Now let's make this top a little flatter. We can adjust as we go along and have it slope down, halfway down this circle, and bring that snout out like this. All right, and kind of bring it back a little tapered at here, a little going this way and bring it back down like so. So you see, I'm starting to see a little bit of already. This up here is anatomically important. This little tiny area here, that cute little high area, it's called the occipital protuberance, and you do not have to memorize that. All right, so the eye is big and it comes close to the front of the face. So let's spend a little time on that, trying to get it right. Nice and round at the bottom, a little flatter on top, and a, an oval. Not really a circle, kind of an oval for the eyeball itself. We'll make him look a little worried, so we'll have an eyebrow that is aimed up. I'm going to bring the pupil a little further up on the eye, like that. Yeah, that's good. And now this comes down straight here, this nose part, but it kind of angles a little down toward the front, like that. And we'll also shade that in. And I'm going to bring this back a little bit so it's a little flatter in the front. So it's a little tiny touch, but I think it will help. And we'll bring this down here, kind of a waggy kind of long floppy ear. This little guy is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. He's adorable, smart, too smart. Yes, he's too smart. And let's bring this all the way down here and then go into the neck, like, like that. Now he's got a chest that comes out. See, we draw through a little bit, find out where we are. I don't want to cover it quite so much, so I'm going to bring this back a little bit like that, and the arms will come here, the arms, forearms, right? I think it was arms because obviously we all think of our dogs as people. We kind of have them on allowance and they get bones instead of treats. Well, those are treats. All right, so here's the back. Bring it down here. This is the floor level here. And bring that thigh kind of bunched up like this. Now, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. See, his eyes going way up, so I think, well, you know, maybe it'd be better if I have him look, looking a little bit up. So I just keep making adjustments till I feel it's, it's looking the way I want it to. So, oh yeah, so now he's like looking, maybe he did something wrong and he wants to look really guilty so you will forgive him. Or maybe he doesn't care. Either way, we love him. Okay, so bring this in. You don't even have to show the mouth, just like that. But you need to show the other foot, right here. And we'll bring this in like this. I'm gonna bring this ear back even a little more. There we go, and I'll, I'll shade it in. With that leg coming up here. And here's that bunched leg and a tiny foot, tiny foot, right like this. And my dog has a cropped tail. I would not have actually cropped the tail, but that's, that is the way he was when we found him. And now I'm going to shade this part in here. Kind of make him two-tone. A little whiskers. And yeah, really darken in the eye. You always want the eye to be, make a lot of contrast. 
I'm going to now slope this even a little more. Just a gentle sloping. It adds a kind of a deer quality to a character. Now see how he's touching the knee? That's a no-no. You don't want one line to touch the other line. It can overlap, but you'd rather not have it touching. It kind of draws attention to itself. So there we go. That makes it a little better. I give a little patch right here. A little line like this. And there we go. That is Spencer the dog. Very cute, but do not trust him around unguarded sandwiches. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more free videos every week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.